We are about to find out together if the DIY butterfly cut tutorial by Brad Mondo actually works. So Brad says that it is extremely important to make sure that the hair is wet before cutting it. This is supposed to help make the hair cut precise and it will also be a lot easier to help cut through the hair. So guess what I'm about to go do? Yes, queen, I'm gonna go wet my hair because I like to do things right. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I wet my hair. Teacher's pet. So the next step, Brad says, is to palm your hair forward from the apex of your head. If you're asking yourself, what the heck is the apex? The apex is actually the highest point on your head. If you put a comb on your head and balance it, aww, that is going to be the tallest point of your head. So I tried my best to get myself a nice little part here. And with a small tooth comb, I'm supposed to comb my hair forward nice, smooth, and tight, and basically turn myself into a unicorn. So if I'm not looking directly at the camera, I apologize. I am actually using my iPad right now as a mirror. And the scary thing is I'm kind of blind because I don't have my glasses on or contacts in. Okay, so I believe that I do have this all nice and smoothed out. I'm gonna take my little handy dandy rubber bandy and I'm going to put a nice tight little ponytail at the front of my head. Okay, so the hair that I have going on right here, I'm supposed to pull all the way up and ponytail it up here at the apex of my head. So. I'm gonna use my big comb for a second to help get it all up. I feel like I'm going to have to set my camera higher so you can see all my hair. Ooh. Okay, so another little handy dandy rubber bandy and I'm going to take it all the way up. Let me tell you, this is a workout right here and I can definitely tell I'm not in the best of shape because my arms are hurting. Breathe. I'm a little nervous. Okay, Brad Mondo, I really hope that I do this right and that I do not mess my hair up. Look at me going all professional and stuff. So please keep in mind that I am not trained. I am not a professional hairstylist. I'm not certified. I have not done any schooling. However, all of you who follow me will already know that I sure do love me some DIY beauty, haircuts included. So now it's time to cut the hair. Brad says to make sure you cut a significant amount. So I'm going to try to do just this, but I don't want to get carried away. It's very important that you don't pull your hair up this way. You want to pull it and keep it at the angle that you already have going. That's the purpose of the unicorn tail. Oh, I'm scared. I think that I am going to bring it up near the chin. I don't know how much hair that is, but it looks like quite a few inches. I'm about to take this off. Wait, before I cut this, let me put my glasses on because I am blind and I want to see what I'm doing. Angle down, not up. And I think I'm going to start with this. Just make sure it's good. Gotta cut here and a little more on this end. Ah, enough to hopefully make a difference. Okay, so the next ponytail, we need this one tight as well. However, instead of going straight up, you're not supposed to cut it down here, but pull it a little forward like this. Now I dropped it a little so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, this hair is kind of in my face. Let's see if we could tuck that over there. Eek. 
I'm doing it. So let me do this again. Grab it and just bring it forward to check it out. Looks pretty even to me. Whoa, look how short my pony is. Okay, so let me just clip this up while I take this back part down. I got layers, I cannot tell. I don't know, do you see any layers? I cannot tell. Hmm, I don't know. It doesn't seem like that much of a difference. Let me fill from the back. I think I'm going to take a little bit more off the back. I'm gonna get this in a nice pony and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I put my hair in another high pony. Let me put my glasses on again. And let's give this another little try. Pull it up. Sorry you can't see. I will bring it down in just a moment. Okay, we're gonna take it just a little bit shorter. Because we want a difference. I want to see a difference. It's kinda coming. pretty good. Okay. Okay, now that's a short pony right there. Okay, we're gonna take it down. this off. I don't know. What do y'all think? Oh, I think we might be on to something. I don't know, Brad. This might have actually worked. Give me a moment and I'll be right back. It turned out so much better than I actually expected. I did wish I had more hair tools so I could play with it a little and try new things. This is literally just taking a blow dryer and a round brush. I would love to know what you all think. And if you want to leave me a comment below, I would love that. I read each and every comment and I always reply back. If you are new to my channel, I would love to have you be a part of my DIY beauty family. If you do subscribe, make sure you ring the bell. You'll be notified of any future videos. Please give it a thumbs up and please know that I care and love all of you. And until next time, my beautiful friends, you take care. Bye.